Hi everyone, I'm Megan. Welcome to my channel. As you can see, I do not have makeup on yet and that's because I'm filming a get ready with me video. I'll be heading out in a while and I decided to film my go-to makeup look. So I always fall back on this look because I prefer the natural looking makeup which is more of the mauve tones and the brown tones and that's what I'll be applying on today because they're really very easy to wear and suitable for a lot of occasions. So join me as I start my everyday go-to makeup look. So I'll start by applying this cushion foundation by YSL. They have a very very nice and slick design so I really like it. So just be starting from the center of my face and then applying it outwards. So I'm going to use this to even out my skin tone. I'll wrap all the redness on my skin. So I really like this product because it's very, very lightweight and also gives quite a nice silky texture. The coverage is not too great though, so you can probably try to layer on if you're looking for more coverage. Okay, applying it down the neck so that the colour matches. Next, I'm using a concealer by Ari Town. It has two colours, one is lighter and one is darker. Yep, so I kind of mix both to get the correct shade. So taking the peach based one, I'm gonna apply this on my under eyes. So I'm using a concealer brush for this. As usual, I have such bad dark eye circles, so just pack this product on, give me more coverage. So I find that cream concealers are the best at covering up any blemishes. And it lasts pretty long as well. So you can see that this side is like so much better than the other side. I will correct that as well. Okay, then taking a lighter shade, I'm gonna cover up my blemishes as well. Just gently pat on the blemishes. Also, any redness around my nose. So I'm gonna set it all with a powder. The powder that I'll be using would be this one, which I shared with all of you in my previous video. This is from Innisfree, and it's their No Sebum Mineral Powder. I'm just gonna take the puff and pat it all over my face. So. It leaves your skin feeling super soft. It's a very nice like satin powdery finish. Now that I have slightly brownish hair, I have to change the colour of my brows. If not, I'll feel very conscious the whole day. So I'm gonna first use this eyebrow pencil by K Palette. It's the three-way eyebrow pencil. So just filling it from the front. So I like to do mini strokes so that it's more natural. Just fill in wherever there are some gaps. Okay, so after doing this, I will be using the powder that comes with this product. Okay, and the final step is to use this brow tint by Etude House to match the colour of my hair. Okay. 
So I brush it up, then I'll brush it down so that the entire hair is like coated. Yep, and I'm done. Next, I'll be doing some contouring to add some colour back to my face. I'll be using this new product that I just got and this is the Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodin Shading product. Okay. So I'll be using the two darker shades and then contouring my face. So starting with the cheeks. Just to add some colour back to the face and to give your face a bit more definition. So I think that this product is very friendly for beginners especially. If you're not sure how to pick out a shade that matches you, then you have this one which comes in three different shades. So that really helps because you can just use the shade that matches your skin tone. So I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to use this to contour my nose. So I'm just picking out the middle shade. I'm going to define the tip of my nose. And all the way up to the eyelid. And just blend it. Then I like to just pat it with my fingers so that it's just more natural looking and it's just very blended out. Moving on to the eyeshadow and I'll be using some very basic shades from this palette and this is the palette that I shared in my previous video as well. So I'll be using this um, light bronze shade first. So I'm just going to pat this on my eyelid. I'm just taking this bronzy shade to define my eyes a little. Then I'm going to go in with this um, rose gold shade. I'm going to apply this on the center of my lids. So when you pat on, you actually get more of the product. So I'm going to finish it off with a mauve shade. Um, it's from Bia. And I'm going to take uh, the fluffy side to apply this. And I'm applying this on the outer thirds. So typically I like the front half to have kind of a glittery eyeshadow. But I like to end it all off with a matte eyeshadow at the back. I just find that this helps to balance the look. So this product is really great for defining the crease of your eyes without being too intense. Then I'm going to use this gold shade on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm just using a small little brush for it. For eyeliner, I'll we'll just put a really thin layer just for more definition. So I'm going to start off from the middle and just apply. So I just elongate the, left, the lash line. And just draw it back down. Then I fill in the rest. So the eyeliner that I'm using is this one from Clio and it's the Kale Brown Waterproof Brush Liner. So I'm using the brown one because I find that it just goes well with this look. Okay. Yep. And 
that's it. I'll be moving on to mascara. And before that, we have to curl our lashes. So I'm using this Shiseido eyelash curler. Then I'm using a mascara that I shared in one of my Instagram posts and this is the Lash Perm Proof Mascara by Etude House. So I like to comb it until there are less clumps or the lashes are more separated. Sometimes the bottom lashes are hard to get. The best way is to just move in a zigzag motion so that the product gets on the lashes. So I'm done with the eyes. I'm gonna move on to the blush and the blush I'll be using this touch blush in Seduce. And I really like it. Ever since I bought it, I've always been using it. So it's been my go-to shade. It's a really really gorgeous like rosy mauve shade and it's matte. I think it gives a really nice flush of colour. So for the lips, I will first be applying a lip gloss. And I really really like this. This is Lip Fondue Aurora 3D Pro. It has such amazing, amazing like glitters in it. So it really gives a very very nice look and it's very very hydrating. The only downside is that it's really really sticky so uh, your hair can get stuck to it. But this product is really really hydrating. So it helps my chapped lips. So I'm gonna finish the look with this NARS lipstick. I'm applying it with a brush. So I'm done with my everyday go-to makeup look. I think that this look is very clean, it's very natural looking, um, there's not much going on and you can see that the eyes are very feminine with like the pinks and browns. Also the lips are nude so they're very very easy to match with anything that you're wearing. So if you did like this video, do remember to give this video a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. Also please follow me on my Instagram account at ThaiMeganC and I hope to see you again the next time. So thank you so much for watching, bye!